My older brother Dan got me into surfing when I was about 10 years old. Uh, when I was about 15, I started shaping surfboards. By the time I was 17, I was asked by Sean Stussy to become his protege. He was going to be starting a clothing company. He wanted to teach somebody to do his style. I had been copying his style and uh, he called me up one day and uh, asked me if I wanted to uh, be taught by him. And so I, I spent some time with him and he taught me a lot. Later on, after graduation, I started working for Brian Clark, BC Surfing Designs. He also taught me a lot. He was a really good surfer, excellent shaper, uh, intelligent man. In uh, 1987, I started working for McElroy. Uh, he was really popular at the time. Uh, had a lot of orders, really needed help. Uh, I also helped uh, Timmy Patterson back then. Later on, I moved to the Herbie Fletcher Surf Shop where I met the Fletcher family and got to start making surfboards for Nathan Fletcher and Christian Fletcher. Uh, actually got into a band with the boys and uh, that was sort of the beginning of the end, you know, sort of a rock and roll story. In 95, I went to Japan and shaped boards over there under the ZH logo. Came back here and uh, Steve Boyson asked me if I could help him, so I helped him for a few years. Then I got my own shop with a partner and we were doing pretty good for about six months. And then um, I started working for Lost Surfboards. I worked for Lost Surfboards for 10 years. While working at Lost Surfboards, I was encouraged to come up with a new way to make a surfboard. I came up with a couple of new ones, and then I started getting into composite construction. I made a few for my customers in Japan. They were amazed at the strength and the, and, and the flex pattern and, and how light they were. Uh, some stories of people going on surf trips and just throwing the surfboard in the plane with a sock around it and nothing happening to it. Uh, having the boards for over two years, not even any dents on the deck. Uh, incredible performance aspects where they could go into a turn and then right at the end of the turn it just kind of flexes a little bit and then they phew, can come around quicker. They just sent me footage, some amazing things. Uh, it's, well, I think the big thing that's most important is being able to make them custom not being restricted to molds or, or, or not every board has to be black because it's made out of carbon fiber. It's, it's highly customized but with repeatability. That's the true value of custom composite surfboards. So whether it's polyurethane with polyester foam, traditional surfboard construction, EPS foam with epoxy resin, or composite construction, I can provide the highest level of service that I know of. I don't really know of any other manufacturers who can do what I do, in that the shaper is the same person that is gonna build the board, that's gonna design the board, and who's gonna see it all the way through production. I feel it's an incredibly good value to the consumer. Uh, my customers will stay with me because they've received treatment like, like a pro surfer.